Giants. The Florida Georgia game. In Jacksonville, Florida. Got a tough challenge ahead of us. See how this drive go. Just take it easy. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are oh, yes, we got it. I know they could try to pressure me, so I gotta get, get rid of the ball quick. And this defense is gonna have their hands full because they're gonna need to be comfortable with guys one on one on islands in the perimeter of the field. They're just gonna have to make better plays than like we saw right there. They knew this offense was gonna try to be aggressive, gotta need better effort in the back. Oh, yes, go. Oh, I thought he was gonna take it to the house. These guys have really performed at a high level in SEC play in the task to try to get this move going. Yeah, and when you start the season like this, man, this is exactly what you drew up. Win your conference, be great in your conference, get to the conference championship. I'm not putting the cart before the horse palmer, but nowhere to go and the ball is loose. It's as if the ball had a magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they get close? Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Off play action. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. Right shoulder. Right shoulder, I'm sorry. Just going to run a throwing hand. The give to the back. Oh, cut it, cut it. Makes a pass to Marker. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. The Gator ground game is lurking in the murky waters, and it has been most effective. Yeah, we've seen them in the past, man. When Florida's really, really cooking, they've got some... Oh, you are, though. Take to the house. Backs. They've got some good balance, but they've got some physicality, and that's what you want to see from this year. What a big time run for this offense, a physical run. Over 1,000 yards rushing this season. Yeah, considering how well they're running it right now, why wouldn't you just hand it off to this guy right here again? What the play is he got? And the Gators trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. He wants to throw it. Into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football. And you saw that there on the incompletion. Found it in. Found it in. A strong tackle and wrap up for the junior. Well, you know if you're this offense, you're dialing up this running game. Man, he has been a soaring machine all season long. Just finds his way into the end zone, and this is a golden opportunity. All right, let's get it. Touchdown, Gator! And it's 
this money time. It's third and low. You've got the option. You can run the football and still be balanced. Use the big film, the tight end. I love it down here because he can act like he's blocking, slip out, and get open. And then he's got that big body. He just throws it, and he does the rest. Show him to do that. The gift to the tailback. Oh. Oh. Okay, he found it again. He found it again. Running back searching for a hole. Yeah, get it. You can see why he ain't blocked. Tackle was made at the 22, and a nice 10 yard pick up there on first down from their own 22. Yeah, you can make him go out. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. To the air on first down. And they get to the quarterback. Oh, God, they always do this to me. He said they pushed me. The the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Hey, first down. We got to end some more yards. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pick up on that one. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great in it defensively. You've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. These two first met back in 1915, and for much of their histories, they've been sleeping oh, giants. Don't. She kept going on the outside. Do they wake up? Well, it, it two programs on the be cutting in. He's been in the In the past, I feel like because of the recent success of both Georgia and Florida, in the last couple of decades, this is a game every year that everybody, not just in the SEC, but I think around the country, have circled because of what this game means. Well, it's so cool when you're a fan and you've played in this game like me and Jesse both have. <clears throat> Take your time. Don't wait long where I see. You. See the coach telling me just take my time. Say poise. Motion from the offense. Quick handoff. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. Halfway there on first down and second and five. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. Makes the tackle at the one. It's a pickup of five on the play. Yeah, I like this play. Just a simple power play. Power play. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. Oh, uh oh. Take it to the house. Take it. Go. Take it to the house. To keep it safe, you say for now. Oh, he stopped this. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre snap motion and time. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. This, so I need this to come out. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. 
going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, they'll take to the air. Outside the pocket, let's it go. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It was third down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. What's a really nice job there on that third down? Coming out on first down with the play fake. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Both of you guys played in this rivalry. Jesse, what's your most impactful memory? Uh, my senior year, first and one on the goal line. And the Bulldogs had Marcus Stroud and Richard Seymour, two first-round picks at D-tackle. Coach Spurrier called Red Snoopy, which was a quarterback snake. I didn't get it. He called it again on second down. I didn't get it. He called it again on third. Oh, 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 go! Oh, that was a good pass. Slippery <laughs> slide, find his way, and ran away from the crowd. And scoring, so they better be able to agree what he's got. That's good for me. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are back breakers. Two touchdowns. They move the tight end all over. Give to the running back. <clears throat> got the first down and more. He's racked up 92 yards on the ground, and he came into this game leading the nation in rushing. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. To the ground. He's got it again. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off. And really good vision there, just getting what he can get. Right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. The gift to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run down in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime. Maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance. Hey, what the is this that they buzz down, replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. He wants to throw. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. And here comes the offense on second down. Running it to the right. They wrestle him down after he picks up six inside the 20 and down at the 18. The Gators look to do some damage in the red zone. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Wide oh. open downfield. Dive with the dive, the dive in. Gator <laughs> reeled in and just made the house call. They've got the lead and trying to nice curl route. Well. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making it. Dives into the end zone for the two-point conversion. Quick strike offense on that three-way scoring drive. Wide receiver now comes in motion. To the ground with the back. Nice, nice. Picks up the first down still. Fumble. Ball is free. 
bounced right back to them. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Hand off to the single back. Stay Run again there, but no. Run again there. Broke a tackle. Another one, another one, another one, and another. Oh, go! And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup. Let's see George fans mad. <laughs> Mm, I didn't see him. He ain't going to pay attention. Your steps. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Big way to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. They go to the ground. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much. So you take the field against your rival, you're able to put up forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight for David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team. And Bragg writes down for 
bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, and focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. They beat Georgia in a hard fall game. Tough battle. We probably probably gonna meet again in the SEC championship game. Probably. M or Alabama. Probably gonna meet Georgia. So this probably was a preview of the um, championship. So until next time. Thank thank you guys for watching.